Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sam Kim. In this video, I would like to show you how to calculate the Schoenfeld residues or scale the Schoenfeld residues for Cox proportional hazard analysis in XLNR. The Cox proportional hazard model makes several assumptions. So, it is important to assess whether the fitted Cox regression model adequately describes the data. The first one, testing the proportional hazard assumption. Uh, we can use uh, Schoenfeld residue. So Schoenfeld residue is to check the proportional hazard assumption. David Schoenfeld actually published a uh, article in Biometrica in 1982, and the, the article name is "Partial Residue for the Proportional Hazard Regression Model." And this is the main uh, part to understand uh, partial residue, which is same as uh, Schoenfeld residue. And let's try to understand what it means. Uh, so as you can see, this is a crucial part to understand uh, Schoenfeld residue. And you may have difficulty to understand this part. So expectation of Xi given risk set of time i. It can be calculated by using this formula. So what, what does it mean? So there's one reference site I have used for this video. The Schoenfeld residue vector is calculated on a per event time basis. At the j's event time, tij of the i subject, the Schoenfeld residue can be calculated by uh, this form. So this is the difference between the i subject covariate vector at time ij and the average of the covariate vector over the risk set at uh, time ij, right? And there are another two uh, reference sites to understand uh, scaled Schoenfeld uh, residue. So as you can see, uh, scaled Schoenfeld residue can be calculated by using a number of events times variance of Vita times Schoenfeld residue. And in our program, actually, we need to add uh, estimated coefficients to get scaled Schoenfeld residue. In our program, uh, after you calculate, you get a Cox proportion hazard model. Let's name it as CPH1 then you can get uh, Schoenfeld residue by using residue functions uh, with uh, Schoenfeld, uh, Schoenfeld uh, type specification. And also, scaled Schoenfeld uh, residue can be calculated by using this, uh, this command in R. Um, as you can see, uh, you, you need to calculate variance of uh, Veta head to, in order to get uh, scaled Schoenfeld residue. So in video 277, uh, you can check how to calculate standard errors of coefficients for Cox pH analysis in XNR. So in this video, let me show you how to get this Schoenfeld and scaled Schoenfeld residue in Excel. Let's first get uh, uh, coefficients, right? So uh, yeah, uh, I initially said uh, coefficient value as zero, then X Vita can be calculated by Rx times Rx coefficient plus H covariate times H coefficient. Then exponential of X Vita can be calculated by using EXP function. Then partial low likelihood can be calculated by if if you step equals 1, then x vita minus log of sum of x vita. And fix the last step. And if f stat is not equal to 1, then let's say mm, 0. Right. We want to uh, maximize partial low likelihood. Sorry. Let's use server. Okay. 
we want to maximize this uh, cell by changing uh, this uh, value. Right. Then let's get a uh, shear field ratio here. So this is the formula. If f is that equals one, then covariate Rx and minus numerator part uh, some product Xi then uh, exponential of this part fix the last cell and divide by sum of the ex, uh, exponential of x, x beta if f state is not equal to 1 let's give a value as 0 okay then uh, to make it clear instead of 0 uh, let's make it as empty okay then for uh, age variable same approach out each variable sum of this part f uh, f color right so this is same as uh, our output uh, there's more difference in coefficient part because of uh, different uh, optimization algorithm but anyway then let's get uh, scale Schoenfeld so let's get Schoenfeld register here copy and paste all right then uh, let's get let's consider this formula so and merge Schoenfeld Regidir, comma, variance of Vita, then plus Ctrl Shift Enter. Right. So we need to actually uh, add, multiply by a number of events. There are 12 events, this one. Then again, uh, press Ctrl Shift Enter. Right. Then uh, finally, let's add uh, estimated coefficients, the same as our output. Right. This is same as our output. So uh, I showed you how to get a Schoenfeld residue and scale Schoenfeld residue in Excel. In summary, again, 
Uh, this is a uh, main formula to calculate Schoenfeld residue. An uh, expectation of XI given risk set of TI can be calculated by using this formula. And it means actually this part, right? Difference between I subject covariate vector at time IJ and the average of covariate vector over the risk set at time IJ. Then uh, you can get this uh, Schoenfeld residue and uh, scaled Schoenfeld residue. I hope it was useful to understand how to calculate Schoenfeld residue and scaled Schoenfeld residue for Cox proportional hazard analysis. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.